Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning, just in case. I doubt anything will happen to the point where we need it. But, you know, got to. Twitch.com is where you can catch a live, previous lives, and be ready for the future lives. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post five days per week. That's where we watch stuff that we cannot watch on YouTube. This is from Underworld Unmasked. Maza L20, the full case. Malcolm Graham, that's his name? They put his whole gov on there like that? Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. In 2016. Now, you know, Maza's making waves. He's been making waves. I feel like he's the pioneer. He might not be the first, but he's the he's still the flagship, the pioneer of an artist making it in the music industry from jail, like putting out music, gritting a buzz. I'm talking about literally out of the dirt. Bro wasn't rapping when he went in and he came out on the verge of being one of the biggest rappers in the UK. Like he's he he can do that. He was trending for his Charlie Sloth um, fire in a booth. Um, if you haven't checked out my reaction on that, I think it was the last video I posted or something like that before this one. Um, fire, obviously it was fire. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't fully know his story. So let me hear something. In 2016, in Liverpool Crown Court. The court heard how police detectives found footage on Malcolm Graham's phone which showed him testing the Russian-made automatic handgun which was used to shoot dead Kevin Wilson. Kevin, who was 17, was shot in the back on the corner of Home Street, Wavertree on February the 7th of 2015 and was sadly passed away. Police have made several arrests in an attempt to solve the murder but the case remains ongoing. Graham's co-defendants included an 18-year-old man from Formby who was jailed for seven years and six months for firearms offences. A 22-year-old man was also jailed for three years for firearms offences under fray. So far there was... So Maza and his Cody's kept it solid. No snitching. Was bang banged up. There's no evidence to suggest that Graham or his co-defendants had anything to do with Kevin's murder. In August of 2016, Footage played in court showed one of Graham's associates doing a line of Class A substance off of the barrel of a sawn-off shotgun and a video of Malcolm test firing the Russian-made handgun previously mentioned. In another clip shown in court, Malcolm was said to have been rapidly pulling back the barrel of the. You know what, Maza? I'm a y'all was young. Y'all ain't know no better. Y'all wanted y'all put that on y'all cameras. Pistol to make bullet cases. In another clip shown in court, Malcolm was said to have been rapidly <clears throat> pulling back the barrel of the pistol to make bullet cases come out of the chamber. Judge David Aubrey, who gave him the sentence, described Graham as obsessed and fascinated with lethal weapons. The judge said, guns kill, guns maim, they terrorize and intimidate. In the court's judgment, they have a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Guns don't do any of that. The person behind the gun does all of that. People do those things. Let's not, let's not do that. Because <laughs> I also have a fire fascination with firearms, but I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? I will defend myself, but, you know, come on now. Corrosive impact on the local guns maim. They terrorize and intimidate. In the court's judgment, they have a corrosive impact on the local community. The message must go out that those involved in firearms offenses must receive punishments from the court. CCTV footage was also played which showed Graham attacking another inmate at Hindley Young Offenders Prison, where he was serving a three-year sentence for the previous firearms matter. The court was also told how Malcolm had attacked one of his co-defendants, punching him in the face, causing him to lose teeth. Graham accused... God damn, Martha? <laughs> you was in there. You was in there kept doing what you had to do, huh? He's the man of being a little rat and saying, why have you been swerving me? Tarquin McCallum, who was representing Alan, said that his client was ashamed of that cowardly act and did not foresee the injuries that it would cause. 
So your Cody didn't keep it silent, one of them. That's neither here nor there for me and not in my business. Detective Inspector Richard Jones said, the sentencing of these offenders today sends out a strong message to those involved in gun crime. Merseyside Police is committed to taking those involved in gun crime off of the streets. Malcolm Graham and Lewis Clark were both linked by DNA photographs in a video to the self-loading pistol, which just three weeks before it had came into their position, was used to shoot and murder Kevin Wilson. The judge said, these three thought that they were untouchable and were seen in photographs on phones owned by Graham and Clark with the weapons. Mercer was also videoed on the phone snorting cocaine off of a sawn off shotgun. That's insane. Alongside the firearms offences, Malcolm Graham was sentenced to two Section 20 assaults. One was on a prison inmate and the other was an assault on Adam Mercer, who was actually his co-defendant and allegedly the man seen on video using the shotgun to consume a substance. And then, Not surprised. And allegedly the man seen on video using the shotgun to consume Not a substance. Not surprised. Ordinarily, this is where the video kind of would end, but as we've all seen, there have been numerous music videos and freestyles amongst other content posted by Mazza, showing his life behind bars and his musical talent, and some would even say his artistry. He's Jaylee Duppy, which is a play on the GRM. Facts. Now, let me stop. Hold facts. Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, it's just the hype. It's just the hype. He was in jail. He got a lot of hype. No. Now, now we know from his fire in the booth, we are, I already knew, you know what I'm saying? Bro can actually write rap. I mean, he can put words together good. He can also paint a picture where it can draw you in and you can actually listen for three and a half minutes. Not like most of these people where the, the attention span of their rap is a minute and 30 seconds and we don't want to hear the hook. You know what I'm saying? It's more to it. To it, it's more to it. When he was in, when he was in jail, he was reforming his mind as well. He had to be in there reading. <laughs> Ain't like he had to be in there reading. Like he could put words to, or his mind is just creative, and he just tapped into it finally. Because he like the way it's not. It's it's one thing to go to jail. And sit in jail and have stories about jail, but it's another word. It's another thing to be able to rap them and it sound good. I've heard people try, but it don't sound good. Some of the words aren't the words they should use. They're too blunt. Like, no, nah, he's creative with it. I like it. That's the washer and dryer man. And freestyle platform Daily Duppy has been credited as creative. It's clear that right now, Mazu is making the best right, of Right, this is another creativity thing. To go to jail for years on end is not an easy thing to get through. And we've seen numerous people go through the system and put themselves in a good position to come out to a career in music. So hopefully he's on the same wavelength. These videos posted online of freestyles and music videos have led to Mazu gaining a massive following online, gaining tens of millions of views overall through YouTube and other social media combined. He's used this situation to showcase a clear musical talent which has led him to collaborating with some of the UK's biggest names like Potter Paper and H, as well as many other prominent artists. The next few weeks, Mazza is due to be getting out of prison, but as most of us would have seen from his recent snippet online, he seems to be struggling with where his mind's at. Here's nah, the clip bro, I'm talking free. about. Uh, these are taking a piss, these, you know, in a good way. They just gave me 80 days back, but they waited till I was banged up, the cunts. I see you all in a couple of weeks. All you little rats that were putting the blockers on me, Watch, it's on site, on fucking site though, you little rats. But yo, everyone he was showing me love as well. I've got you, man. Watch when I touch road in a couple of weeks and get in that studio. Next up, you can't tell me I'm lying. Oh God, he need to do a next up. Do a next up. I, I, he probably already did a next up. If I was, if I, I'm not Mazza, but if I was, I'd be making all the rounds. I be, I've been watching y'all for 10 years. <laughs> My turn. I'm going to next up, fire in the booth. Uh, um, I know he's been on um, fumes, but I do it live. Another one. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, mixtape madness. I'm. I'm going to, to everybody. I want to. I want to stamp everything. <laughs> And I would have did it back to back to back. I know he just dropped the Charlie thing, and I don't know if there's some type of restrictions on what he can do, drop music, and what things of that nature. 
But once a week, I'm dropping everything. I'm going to the cold room. I'm going everywhere. I don't care what nobody's talking about. I'm doing them all. <laughs> With new bars because I'm fresh out. So every everything you're going to hear is going to be new. Hopefully people can talk some sense into him because he has a huge amount of potential and has already yeah. achieved accomplishments that have solidified him as an artist in the UK industry. To have built a fan base and started a music career from jail is literally the golden opportunity to leave the streets yeah, behind that's, that's and start a new life. Hopefully other artists and fans alike will happen to stay on the right track. Comment your thoughts and suggestions for future videos and also let me know. If you could say anything to Mazza to help him turn his life around and stay on the right I can't say nothing to Mazza. <coughs> To do none of that, you know what I'm saying. I think I feel like his girl, whoever he's with now, that girl, she's doing a solid job, man. She's keeping his head on straight. I feel I don't know, but salute somebody doing it. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.